Welcome to the Potential Difference uh, Research Lab. Today we are going to be looking at the difference between a Faraday motor or a Tesla induction motor which um, operates according to the first law of thermodynamics and the Regen X quantum motor which violates the first law of thermodynamics and introduces the new first law of thermodynamics so what we have in our system here is we have a uh, Tesla induction motor and we will be providing electric input energy into the induction motor and if we want to increase the speed of the system uh, we need to increase the input energy and input power going to the induction motor. The Regen X quantum motor, on the other hand, uh, can increase, has the ability to increase the speed of the system, the kinetic energy of the system, but it requires zero uh, additional input energy when doing so. So in the demonstration, I'm going to bring the system up to speed about uh, uh, 3,100 RPM. And then I'm going to increase the speed of the system by increasing the input energy into the system. And you'll be able to see that uh, here on the uh, power analyzer. When I increase the speed of the system, using the induction motor the uh, input power to the to the motor is going to go up and then uh, what we have in the Regen X quantum motor are four motor coils and they're all controlled by these switches here and what you'll notice is when the Regen X quantum motor coils are engaged they will increase the speed of the system but the input to the drive motor the induction motor is going to go down so what we're doing is we are we are performing work we're increasing the kinetic energy of the system but the input energy to the prime mover is going to go down and the more work we perform with the uh, Regen X quantum motor coils, each coil, the more work we perform as we add coils, the, the, the more the, the system speed increases, the more the kinetic energy of the system increases. And the, the more the input goes down. So it's a direct violation of the first law of thermodynamics which says that if the if the speed of the system goes up the input energy going into the system must go up and the heat uh, expended in the system must also go up and what you'll see is that the inputs going down in quantum motor mode and uh, the input, the heat dissipated in the prime mover is also going down. So uh, the, the Regen X quantum motor works as a motor that does not require electric input energy when it's performing work. And it also works as a uh, alternator. And when the switches are on the other side, where we will be charging the battery, 
and um, also increasing the speed of the the kinetic energy of the system while also uh, violating the first law of thermodynamics. So this innovation is important with regards to the um, Government of Canada's pending uh, uh, abolishment of internal combustion engine vehicles because the Regen X uh, quantum supercharger, when it's integrated into an internal combustion engine, will have the capacity to virtually eliminate fuel consumption and uh, greenhouse gas emissions at highway speeds. Okay, so let's fire it up and, uh, and you'll be able to observe what's going on. Uh, again, uh, motor mode on this side and generator mode on the other side and pay attention to the input to the prime mover and then you can also observe the uh, power the current and the volt the power that we're sending to the the batteries that we have on the floor here okay <clears throat>
So this is the equation for the first law of thermodynamics that says that the net change in total energy in the um, induction motor, the uh, Tesla induction motor, is equal to the heat added to the system, meaning the input energy that's being converted to heat in the motor minus the work that's being performed. And in the, um, the Regen X quantum motor or Regen X supercharger that would go into an internal combustion engine or an EV, what it says is the total change in energy is equal to the heat subtracted from the system. That's where we saw the the input to the the uh, prime mover going down, plus the work that's being performed. So that means that the more work we perform, the less the less uh, input energy is required by the system and the less uh, heat is produced. So the, what that means is if this, if the Regen X quantum motor uh, supercharger is in an internal combustion engine vehicle, the more work that it performs, the more uh, acceleration or kinetic energy increase or torque that's added to the motor, the more torque that's added to the motor, the more work that's performed, the less uh, input energy and fuel is required by the um, internal, com the gas motor, diesel motor, whatever it is, and um, the 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 more the the speed of the system will increase. So, with regards to the 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 data. It's pretty hard to see the table, uh, but rough numbers, the, um, the Tesla motor required, um, was using about 655 watts at idle, and in order to increase the RPM by uh, 290 RPM we had to put in uh, an additional 88 watts to the to the motor and uh, we got the speed up we increased the speed by um, uh, sorry we increased the speed by 290 RPM and we increased the uh, input power consumption to the motor by 88 watts. And the Regen X quantum motor increased the speed by the same amount, 290 RPM, but the, um, the power to the motor was reduced by about 256 watts. Now you can go back and watch the video and you can get you can determine the exact number here. I wasn't really paying attention, but uh, the difference is the when the induction motor, Faraday motor, uh, whatever motor on the planet is increasing the RPM of the system, you're gonna you're gonna pay for that increase. Whereas according to the first law of thermodynamics, whereas the Regen X quantum motor, when it's accelerating the system, um, there's a net reduction in input energy, a net reduction of heat, and um, the, the Regen X um, quantum motor uh, has four coils in it right now but it could have, it's designed to have 12 coils. It has four coils because people who 
watch the video or observe the innovation in person, they can't believe what they're seeing. So with four coils, they're easily they're able to trace uh, the wiring to ensure that no external electric input energy is being provided to the uh, Regen X motor coils. They are they are. Uh, charging themselves by the rotational energy of the rotating magnetic field and they're performing work, uh, electric, electrical work, charging the battery and mechanical work, um, increasing the kinetic energy of the system with no externally uh, added energy. And in fact, the externally added energy is going down. So uh, that's the Regen X, the US patented Regen X quantum motor uh, internal combustion engine alternator. And basically it eliminates the need to um, ban uh, internal combustion engines. Uh, all that's required is the removal of the uh, Faraday alternator that's in internal combustion engines and for them to be replaced with uh, Regen X quantum alternators and uh, which can charge the battery or better yet increase the kinetic energy of the system while reducing and even eliminating fuel consumption and greenhouse gas emissions at highway speeds. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Cheers for now.